Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series Scar Trooper Mike 6 inch action figure. So here's a quick look at the box. Up front we have the comic artwork of the Scar Squadron. Moving to the top of the box, some more artwork of that Scar Squadron. Down to the bottom, some more comic stills. And also notice about the plastic free packaging. And we move down to the side. This time we have more focused artwork of Scar Trooper Mike. On the back of the box, we have a render of the action figure in the vanilla pose. He comes with a backpack and a blaster rifle. And there's some more product information at the bottom of the box. Down to the side, this looks like the spine of a book. So this is probably something really nice if you want to put and stack it on your shelf. There's a paper flap over here that keeps the cover in place and once you open it up, sadly with the all paper packaging, and no plastic window, you only see a picture of the action figure. Now this is a bit disappointing because we've seen how Hasbro handles the packaging for Transformers. So a little cutout window in the paper so you can have a look at the action figure held in place in the box would have been a nice feature. Over here we have more comic artwork, this time in color, and a description of Scar Trooper Mike's character over here. So now let's go ahead and get this figure out of the box. The tape is this time attached down the side of the box. Now to get the figure out, it comes held in place with cardboard inserts. Main baggie over here for the figure itself. The main figure is wrapped in a sort of tracing paper and you just slide him off. This is what he looks like out of the wrapping. The smaller paper baggie over here is actually sealed to hold all his accessories in place. There's notches down the side of the bag, so it's easy to tear it open. And here we have his blaster and his backpack. He comes with a white backpack with a panel down the middle that's painted in a metallic grey. There's also a metallic blue paint on the middle. I suppose that's meant to look like it's glowing. And there are four thrusters on the bottom, also painted in that same metallic grey. Quite a bit of panel feature down the sides. And the sleek angular sculpt makes it look quite unique. The sides are also extendable. Plastic is a little gummy, so you gotta wiggle them out. But once you do, I guess this is how the backpack looks deployed and ready for flight. On the inside of the backpack, we also see similarly interesting panel detail. And I like how there's also paint on the inside, despite being on, on the inside of the backpack. It does not have a peg, but because of how the inside of the backpack is sculpted, it's meant to fit and grab directly onto that panel detail on the back of the Stormtrooper armor. It might take a little bit of fiddling when you attach it the first time. The whole process is definitely a bit finicky, but you can see that the fit is quite snug and it, and it attaches close to the Stormtrooper armor and it also stays on quite well. And this is what he looks like with the backpack on. Looking pretty cool as well with the side panels deployed and open. I think the plastic on the Stormtrooper armor might warp over time. So it's also an option just to super glue that backpack on and make sure it stays on permanently. And because Mike has the standard issue Stormtrooper armor on, you can also fit his backpack onto any one of the regular Stormtroopers as well. Next, he also comes with a Stormtrooper blaster rifle that is cast in a dark grey compared to the usual black of the regular Stormtroopers. The sculpt is exactly the same. You got the features like the scope and the attachment on the side as well as the sort of magazine on the inside of the rifle as well. There's also just one hit of paint on this rifle over here for the silver on, on that port. And of course he holds that blaster rifle just as well as any other stormtrooper. You have to bear in mind that Scar Trooper Mike does come in at an elevated price point, which I believe is close to a deluxe figure price. So I do think that it's a bit disappointing that he only comes with that unique backpack accessory and just one blaster. That's essentially a Stormtrooper standard issue rifle. His helmet is the only other uniquely sculpted part, while that communicator is reused from that same panel that we saw on Sergeant Creel. So there's really a lack of accessories and unique sculpted parts. It really doesn't justify his elevated price point, not even with that special all paper box. So I do think this elevated price point isn't justified, especially since Mike is just a supporting character in the Scar Squadron. So now let's take a closer look at his sculpt and paint. His head sculpt is for sure the most interesting part of this figure. There's a metallic grey plastic antenna receiver down the side, as well as a unique scope over here, metallic blue for the lens on that scope. 
There's also a uniquely sculpted element down the front, and his visor is also painted in a nice metallic blue, looking like it glows just like in the comics. The rest of the features on the helmet are pretty Stormtrooper standard, but still nicely painted with the silvers, blacks, darker blues, and grays on the sides. So no complaints with the sculpt, paint, and execution of this helmet. I do want to point out that this time Hasbro has decided to have his helmet as a solid plastic piece with no human head on the inside. On the rest of his body we see the same glossy white smooth plastic for the armor parts, while we also see the blacks around his joints. There's an additional hit of black paint on the sides of his upper torso, and there's also black paint over here for his abdominal armor. Pretty much the entire sculpt is reused from the regular Stormtrooper, so there's no surprises over here. There's no pain for this canister on the back of his belt, while it also irks my OCD a little bit, because now the communicator on his left forearm, while having the same sculpt, is painted with a metallic blue that shines quite nicely. However, the blue on Sergeant Creel is a flat light blue, so I don't like how the communicators don't look the same across the members of the Scar Squadron. So what also annoys me a little bit is how inaccurate the lower part of his torso is compared to the comic art. Hasbro has just gone for a complete reuse of the lower torso on both Sergeant Creel and Mike, and just gave a little bit of black paint applications on the respective panels. Mike should have come with smooth abdominal armor, but instead we still see all those panels and buttons on him. So in my opinion, Hasbro has really taken the cheap option over here, just going lazy and completely reusing that lower part of the torso. Looking at his lower body, and once again, there's really no surprises because everything is reused from the standard issue Stormtrooper. No changes in the choice of armor parts, and it's also complete with the grey for the soles of his boots. Mike has got the same articulation scheme as a regular Stormtrooper, with a double ball dumbbell joint at the top of his neck and another ball joint at the bottom, so of course you can spin his head. 360, very good range, tilting sideways as well when you combine both ball joints, also quite good downward range and upward range. He's got butterfly joints at his shoulders so he can pull his shoulders forward that much as well as backward that much. So he'll hinge at the shoulders with his shoulder armor keyed into his shoulder so it swings all the way around coming up that far, just about 90 degrees. Swivel just above the elbow as well as a single hinge so it bends just past 90 degrees and that swivel also lets you spin his arm all the way around. Swivel hinge at the wrist for 360 spin, articulating in as well as out, and that's hindered by the armor on the back of his hand. On his right wrist, it's a trigger hand, so of course it hinges down and up instead. He's got a mid torso ball joint, so you can spin him 360, and that also gets you some decent sideways tilting, some acceptable range forward as well as backward. Ball joints at the hips. That let you go out just that much. And he also gets some decent range forward, backward is just a little hindered by the butt armor. Thigh swivel over here that's well disguised by his armor on his thigh. Swivel just above the single knee hinge, so that gets you about just past 90 degree bend and also swings out as well as in. Ankle tilt for up just that much as well as down. And finally, ankle pivot that goes out as well as in. Scar Trooper Mike poses well just like any other Stormtrooper and is quite fun in hand. I imagine his backpack to give him some flight abilities, so that also gives you a couple of options to have him posed. Scar Trooper Mike stands at about 6 inches to the top of his helmet and that's just above 15 centimeters. To the top of his antenna receiver, that is about 6 and a quarter inches and that's just under 16 centimeters. For size comparisons, here he is with a clone trooper and a shore trooper, with Luke and Ahsoka, a scout trooper and Boba Fett, and with Moff Tarkin and the Grand Inquisitor. For comparisons with other lines, here he is with G.I. Joe Classified series, and some Marvel Legends. Scar Trooper Mike is pretty low in value for your money. His helmet and backpack are nice cool designs, but that's all there is to this figure. Hasbro has gone lazy with this one and the current Hasbro direction of raising prices on figures that are mostly reused molds does bug me about the future of their action figure lines. 
Even if Hasbro released him at a regular price point, it's hard to recommend this one. I might have missed it, but Hasbro hasn't announced that they'll release the rest of Scar Squadron, which should be the only, albeit weak, reason to pick up this one. If you want to build Scar Squadron, then you might want to wait for price drops before picking this one up. Please like and share this video, let me know what you think in the comments below, subscribe to my channel, or even hit the super thanks button. Thanks for watching, take care, and stay safe.